Hello guys, welcome to Verbling, my name is Joe. Um, I'm still having the, some technical difficulties with my camera. I was trying to get it to work. Uh, I'm going to try a different camera, actually. Hey guys! Okay, there we go. Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe. Um, sorry about that. I was having some some difficulties with my camera trying to get in, trying to get it to work. Um, but hi, my name is Joe. I'm from Arizona, in the United States, and today we're going to focus on listening skills. So I have a, a few videos we're going to watch, and then we're going to discuss. Um, we're going to talk about the videos a little bit. Uh, the topic for today is pet peeves. So pet peeves are kind of little things that get on people's nerves. Uh, however, before we get started, I'd like everybody to introduce themselves by saying your name, your country, and any pet peeves that you have. So um, I'll go first. My name is Sho, uh from the United States. And some pet peeves that I have. Um, the only one I can think of is uh, whenever people are like brushing their teeth, I hate when they leave the water running. So um, that's one of my pet peeves. So we'll start from the very left with Ahmed, I think. Ahmed, yeah. are you there? Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm there. Okay. Hello. Hello, how are you? My name is Ahad, I'm from Syria. Alright, and do you have any pet peeves? What is? Can you say that in uh, Google chat? Yeah. Pet. It's like, um, it's it's just I like some... I can't see Furbling chat. I oh, okay. Google chat. Yeah, please. So it's like something that gets on your nerves. So it's like something, um, it could be something like you're scared of, it could be something that bothers you, uh, something like that. So like for me, when people leave water running, that that's one of my pet peeves. When people don't respect the time. When people don't respect the what? Period time. The, the the what time? The arrangement, the appointment. People don't respect the appointment. Ah, uh, like when they when they come late and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, Jay. Hi everyone. I'm uh, Jeremy. Uh, I live in uh, France, and uh, I don't really understand uh, your question. Uh, so pet peeve, um, I was just explaining that to ah Ahmed, pet peeve is like something that gets on your nerves or, you know, something that bothers you, something you're scared of, um, like, uh, like I know somebody who, one of their pet peeves is they're afraid of aluminum foil. So like you know, aluminum foil is like the the shiny stuff that you wrap food in and stuff like that. One, I know somebody who's afraid of that, so that could be a pet peeve. Like she hates aluminum foil. So I'm asking, do you have any pet peeves? Mm, uh, I I don't know. Uh, no, I I don't think. <laughs> no, you don't think so. Okay. No. Good. Good. All right, um, Hamdi, are you there? Hamdi Omar? Yes. All right, um, name, where are you from, and if you have any pet peeves. Pet peeves? What? Pet, pet peeves? So a pet peeve um, is something that bothers you, something that gets on your nerves, uh, that's that's a pet peeve. 
Can you, can you please write it in the chat box? Yeah, of course. It's also uh, pet peeve. Or sorry, it's actually I'm, I forgot an e pet peeve like that. Yeah, thanks, Jay. Yeah, so uh, I just tried it in uh, the Google chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ahmed. Um, yeah, so Hamdi, do you have any pet peeves? Uh, what is, uh, I don't know. So I have to think about it. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we'll come back to you. Thank you. Uh, Leila. Hi, Joy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good, thanks. Um, I am Leila from Azerbaijan. Uh, pet peeve, um, I think it's um, n nerve um, to be nerve. Yes. Yeah, it could to be to, to be nervous. Uh -huh. Someone. Um, uh, there are many things uh, that uh, to tell, but um, uh, I don't remember anything. Okay. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> if you if you think of one, just let me know and you can say it. Um, but welcome. Thank you. Uh, Leuba, is that how you pronounce it? Luba. 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 Okay. Luba. Uh, okay, I'm from Bulgaria. Okay. And I don't think I have pet uh, peeves. You don't have any? All right, well, that's good. I don't think pet peeves are just those little things that bother you, that annoy you. Um, so that's good. Uh, Marley. Hello, so I am Marley. I am from Brazil. And my pet peeve is when I am talking to my brother and he pretends to be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Does your brother do that often? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can't. That would be really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that one's funny. Uh, Mika. Hey Joe, happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> um, something that really annoys me is uh, when people are have a bad temper. Uh huh. I, I don't like that. And also when they they're not humble, yeah, that's okay. yeah that that is another peppy like when people are just really uh, the word that we use is cocky. Like, can anybody explain the word cocky? Mm -hmm. Does any, does anybody know what that word means? Full of themselves. Exactly, full of full of themselves. Good. Uh huh. Perfect. Perfect. Also, um, yeah, cocky. Um, so that's Mika's pet peeve. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, so so. Hello, from my name is Soso Sharif. I'm from Saudi Arabia, and what bothers me the most is that when I'm talking to someone and he or she is not paying attention to me. Yeah, that is that's one of my pet peeves too. Now that I think of it, so like when somebody is, when you're talking to them and they're on Instagram, oh, yeah, that's a so that's a really creepy. big. It's a really big pet peeve. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so it sounds like you guys understand the idea of a pet peeve. Um, Hamdi, did you think of one? Uh, uh, loud voice. Loud voices, so like when people are really loud? Yeah. Okay. That's another, yeah, that's a good pet peeve. That's a, that's a normal pet peeve. Um, okay, so like I said, um, glad you guys are all here today. Uh, we're going to practice our listening skills because we're going to watch a little bit of a short video um, about pet peeves, some kind of weird pet peeves, uh, which I'm going to pull it up. And then after we watch it, uh, we're going to just talk about it a little bit and talk a little bit more about pet peeves and um, some of these interesting pet peeves. So. I have this link to a YouTube video, so I'm going to share it with you guys because, unfortunately, Google Hangout, the, the YouTube app, is not working correctly. 
Um, we can try it real quick if you guys want to see if it can work so we can watch it together. Um, so I'm going to try pulling. Okay. Ahmed, I think you, you added it. Okay. So, um, here we go. Um, can you give me a link and I will stream it? Okay. Um, let's see. This one. Okay, so here, I'm going to post it on the... Um, so here, I post it on the Verbling chat, but also post it on the other. So here's one of um, this guy talking about some pet peeves. So here, I'll see if I can add it. My biggest pet... Um. Okay, wait. I have a question. Can anybody hear this video? Yeah. It, who who cannot hear it? Can't hear it. Okay, I can't hear it either. So what we're going to do is I'm going to post the link on uh, Google Chat and Verbling Chat, and then we're going to watch it separately. Um, instead, I'm just going to post the link and then watch the first three minutes, and then we'll come back uh, and talk about it. So there we go. So go ahead, um, get started, watch that, and then in three minutes we'll come back and talk about it.
when you're done, just write on the Verbling chat or write in the Google chat to let me know that you're done with that three minutes of that video. The actress is so is very silly. <laughs> yes. He is a bit beef. <laughs> <laughs> Just write done on, on the chat so that way I can see. And then uh, in a second we'll discuss it. done so far so um, we'll, we'll start talking in one second so make sure you're watching three minutes of it um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm facing a problem with uh, my internet connection. It is very slowly. Yeah, something happened with, with my computer yeah. or something because... Uh, I'll explain in one sec. Uh, so Jay's done, Ahmed's done. Uh, Layla, are you done? Uh, yes. And Marley and Rodrigo, are you guys done? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, good. So, unfortunately for me, sometimes my computer has this weird problem, like whenever I'm using Chrome, and I'm using these headphones that plug into USB, uh, the audio, like on YouTube videos, doesn't work, and just randomly, like, stuff doesn't work. So, I tried playing the video, um, and the audio wasn't working for me, so I'm going to... I have to, I'm basically just asking you guys, you know, what kind of pet peeves he mentioned because I didn't get to see the video because I, I could see it but I couldn't hear it. Um, so what were a few pet peeves that he mentioned? Just anybody. This question's open to anybody. When people eat with their mouth open. Yes, yeah. that, is, that is a really big pet peeve. <laughs> Yeah, where people are like, oh, yeah, I like to go to the store and eat. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a big pet peeve. What, what other ones did he mention? Also, when people take a picture. Take in the photo. Same, uh, yeah, take in the same pose. <laughs> just talking. Wait, <laughs> what, did, he, did he call it a selfie? Um... What? Like wait 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 what did what did he say about pictures? Take what photo. He he might have said when people take selfies. So like let's say for example let's say we're all um, I don't know let's say we're at we're in Rome and we're at the Colosseum and people are like taking this is what's called a selfie. So like let's say I'm taking this picture of myself like this. <laughs> that's called that's called a selfie. That might have been what he said, where you where you see people and they're like, <laughs> and they got, <laughs> that could be that could be a pet peeve when people are taking selfies. That's what they're called. Um, what what other ones did he mention? Ahmed, Hamdi. Yeah, I am here. When somebody is go going to use uh, something uh -huh. belong to you, 
uh, without the prayer notes or prayer execution. Wait, when somebody does what? They try and use something and they don't do it right? They don't execute it? Yeah. Ah, okay. So, like, let's say somebody's trying to... Oh, so, so it's basically like when people fail, right? So, like, if somebody's trying to do something and they don't execute it properly, then they just fail? Like that kind of pet peeve? Hamdi? Yeah. Mm, not actually. Could you... No. I could uh, no, no um, uh, I not consider it as a b bad beef. Okay, what what would you consider it then? Uh, what I mentioned before? Yeah. Yeah, somebody is using something and yeah, some something uh, uh -huh. something belong to you. Ah, okay. Uh, some stuff, some stuff, your stuff. Somebody is using your stuff without a baby a prayer uh, execution. Uh, he, he must execute you first. Oh. oh, oh, okay, okay. I think the word you're saying is, um, like accuse, like this word, accuse, A-C-C-U-S-E? Accuse, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, 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 now I understand. I thought you said execute. Yes. Okay, so accuse is like, so let's say I, like, I have a hat that looks just like Marley's hat, and so I say, hey, Marley, I think you have my hat. So I'm like accusing Marley of taking, like Marley, did you take my hat? Like then I'm accusing him. So yeah. that's a, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So people using stuff without asking. Yeah, that's a big pet peeve. So like, like yeah. So like let's say Marley took my hat and didn't ask me if he could borrow it. So then I might say like Marley, did you take my hat? So I'm accusing him of taking my hat or stealing my hat. Yeah, good. Good, Hamdi. Okay, any any others that he mentioned that you guys remember? Um, when you, uh, uh, when I want to uh, to eat something, uh, for uh -huh. example, and open the freezing, and um, I found uh, uh, one, uh, but I cannot find the uh, other for um, uh, eating. Okay, so like when somebody when like somebody leaves only one thing left in the fridge. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's like a big. What what another big pet peeve for me is like, so let's say you have a box of cookies, and yes. so it's in your your pantry or cabinet, and then somebody eats the last cookie, and they leave the box in there. Like they're too lazy yes. to throw the box away. That is a really yes. big pet peeve. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. Any any others that you guys can think of from the video? Um, yeah, yes, I did one. Okay. Um, how about Marley first? Okay. So as he said in the video, when people use a lot of hashtags. Hashtags. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People people do that all the time on like Instagram. Yeah. Yep, exactly. <laughs> that one is that one is a big pet peeve. It's like, why? What? Who do you think is gonna w look at your your picture or your your tweet because you added like a thousand a thousand things? Yeah. Like people do that on YouTube a lot too. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, Hamdi or was it Ahmed? I I didn't get to see who who else had one to share. Yeah, when he cut the other tree. And the final year tree fallen him. It's a pet peeve of, on him. Yeah. Wait, wait, can you say that one more time? Please. When he cuts the tree, and finally uh -huh. he realizes that the tree is falling on him. When he cuts a tree and realizes it's gonna fall on him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess like that could. Yeah, that's that's a good pet peeve. I, I don't think I. According uh, to him, not to me. Oh, okay, for one of his pet peeves. Yeah, one of his pet peeves. Huh, that's interesting. I, I wonder if he cuts trees a lot. That's. I think. I think that was probably just more like a joke, like trying to be funny, like when he's trying to cut down a tree and realizes, oh no, it's about to fall on me. I should get out of the way. But good, good, good. Any any others that you guys can think of? Yeah. Okay. Um, when somebody you don't know him well request from you to do a favor for him. Ah, okay. Yeah, so like let's say 
let's say your mom wash t tells you to wash the dishes and you don't wash them the way that she wants you to then uh -huh. like that gets on her nerves yeah exactly that's a really good one okay any any others Um, okay, so that's really good. All, all of you guys, almost all of you guys came up with one. Um, Luba, did you come up with one? Any others that anybody didn't mention? Or did we mention most of them? Uh, I think they were all mentioned. No. They were all mentioned. Okay, okay, good. Good, good job, guys. Um, so that was just, that's really good, because I'm pretty sure that guy was a native speaker. Um, even though I didn't get to hear it, he looks like a native speaker. Uh, what he was was he just an American? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. So, um, doing simple things like this, like watching videos on YouTube, uh, these are going to be like really good exercises for helping you guys practice your your listening skills. Um, so, watching videos, watching TV shows, watching movies. So, uh, we're gonna watch another. Um. So let's see. Let's see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can find some weird pet peeves. Um. Okay, we'll do this one. It's about. Uh. No, we'll do this one. Okay, so this is only two minutes and fourteen seconds. So it's pretty quick. So we'll watch the whole thing. Um. So I'm gonna post it on the Verbling chat, and also the other chat. So open that video, start watching it, and then when you're done, so in two minutes, just write done in one of the chats, and then we'll come back and talk about it.
Okay, um, so it sounds like most of you are done. I think Marley is still on it. So, so, are you done? Or Rodrigo? Um, I don't, but, um, I couldn't understand too many things because I, uh, he talked very quickly. Okay. Yeah, very quickly. <laughs> but, of course, uh, the hate, um, I understand because uh, he uh, shot the uh, with her um, mouth. Um, uh -huh. Someone uh, eats um, the um, lordly or uh, something oh, okay. lordly. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Yeah, so, so when somebody's eating at least, so like, let's say if they're like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. That's good. Yeah. Um. So I I didn't get to hear the video, but um, he looks like somebody that might talk really fast. Um, mm -hmm. um, just because sometimes black people they talk really fast, um, but that's good practice for you. Um, Thanks. Yeah, good job. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure everybody else is done. So what are some other pet peeves that you guys noticed in the video, or like that he mentioned? In the video? Yes. The first is really uh, with uh, w when uh, people uh, eat with uh, mouth open. Eat with their mouths open. Yes, good. Good job. Yeah, so when people eat with their mouths open, um, that could be a really big pet peeve. Good. Um, any others? When somebody cuts his nails or her nails, um, <laughs> oh. And they leave it like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, funny. like the wor the worst pet peeve is like a chalkboard and like the sound that your nails yeah, make when you roll it down. <laughs> I don't understand uh, these uh, zip pet peeves. You don't understand these pet peeves? Were, were uh, they difficult? Uh, I don't understand what you say. What you say. Okay, I wish I wish my audio was working so I could help you out a little bit. Um, does any did anybody else uh, kind of understand them a little bit, or or like just remember like what they were called? Because if you if you can maybe tell me a little bit about them, I could help explain them more. Uh, okay, there was one uh, about people posting random stuff on uh, Twitter or Facebook. Yeah, like they they might say, um, like let's think of a random thing. Oh, just bought a new planner for the school year. Yay. Like that's really that's like that's really random. Why would you post that? I mean, unless it's a really cool planner or like, um, darn it, all of my water's gone. <laughs> like some like imagine somebody posting that. What do? <laughs> I think that's probably what he meant. Good. Good. Any any others? But they're probably I'm guessing a lot related to Twitter. Hashtags maybe. He uh, he talk uh, so her his girlfriend uh, about his girlfriend, but uh, he, I I couldn't understand. Oh, okay, okay. So something about his girlfriend. <laughs> that could be a range of things. <laughs> um. Anybody else remember any parts about the girlfriend? Ahmed, Kamdi, Marley, any of you guys remember? He speaks very quickly. He speaks, he's, he spoke yeah. very quickly. Okay. Okay. Um, do you guys want to watch it one more time and see if we can pick up some more things? Okay. Okay. So we'll give it one more try. We'll watch it one more time because, you know, when something, when shows and videos and stuff when they speak very quickly if you can watch it one more time then you should um, because then you can get another try and like focus on it again um, so we're gonna try watching it one more time so I'm gonna post the link one more time and go ahead watch it two more minutes we'll come back um, and hopefully we'll come back with some new pet peeves some new information
when you're done, just write done in the Verbling chat or the Google chat. And then uh, we'll look at that one more time. We'll talk about that one more time. Hi, Joe. Oh, hi, Ella. Hello. Hey, hi, Ella. hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> I just finished watching the uh, YouTube, but um, I didn't find anything about the girlfriend. I... Okay. Sure, uh. which uh, minute? Which time did he say it? He, okay. So, Mika. Okay, so. I want to wait for everybody to be done real quick. So, so so's done. Um, Jay's done. Uh, Luba's done. So are we done? Layla, Marley, Rodrigo. Okay, Marley's done. Okay, good. Uh, Layla, are you done? And Hamdi. Yes, I done. Okay. Good. Okay. So Mika, can you explain what what you found from the video about the girlfriend? Uh, I didn't understand the beginning, but um, he said that he was talking with two other guys, and they were talking about the painters, um, Leonardo, and I don't remember the, the name of the other one. Uh -huh. And he, he was, I mean, he was sure that he was right. Yeah. And, about um, the painter, and the, the other guy insisted that no, he was wrong, and he mentioned that he was with his girlfriend. That's all. Oh, okay, so he probably. He probably hates when somebody thinks they're right and that yeah. he's wrong. So, like, he hates when somebody thinks, like, he hates <laughs> being wrong. Yeah. It's probably like uh, the but it wrong. wasn't about the painters, it was about the Ninja Turtles. Ah, oh, okay, well. Ninja <laughs> Turtles. <laughs> no, I think what he meant. Sorry, too many people talking at once. <laughs> uh, so, Mika. Then Luba, and then Soso. -so, I think you were gonna say something. That anyway, the the Ninja Turtles are inspired on the painters. So. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then Luba, what were you gonna say? Uh, I just wanted to uh, say that uh, they weren't dressed like the painters, but they were wearing Ninja Turtles costumes. Oh. Oh, I never said that they were dressed like painters, but it's okay. Oh, I can understand that. Oh, it was a party, and they were wearing Ninja Turtles. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I think, because um, Leonardo, no, um, they mentioned Leonardo, not the, and they weren't talking about the painter, they are talking about like the Ninja Turtles, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Mon Donatello, and then what's the last one? Uh, Raffaello. Raphael, okay, yeah. So those are all the Ninja Turtles. Okay, so that's what they were talking about. Okay. Okay, so I think the pet peeve, though, was he hates being wrong. So, like, whenever he's right and somebody doesn't think that he's right, like, that's his pet peeve. Which is... No, I which don't is... Think so. Oh, no, it's not? No, I think he hates that uh, he knows that people are wrong and they... Keep insisting. Oh, okay. That right. Okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. So, when he knows that somebody is wrong, and they insist that they're right, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a big pet peeve too. Yeah, I think it's a pet peeve for probably all of us. Like when we know something's, when we know somebody is incorrect about something, like they just have the wrong information, and we know it, but they just insist that they're right. Um, yeah, it's a, that's a big pet peeve. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, good. No, that's that's really good because um, you guys are saying this guy speaks really fast, and at first you didn't pick that up, but now you did. So that's really good. Any others that you picked up on that you didn't pick up on the first try? Yeah, I think I got one. Okay. Uh, when somebody imposes something uh, on you. When somebody, what was that word? Imbuse? Imbuse. Imbuse. Impose. Impose. Yeah. Imposes. Okay, when somebody imposes something on you. So, like, what, what do you mean exactly? So, like, um, somebody... Um, I mean, no. uh, I tell you. Imposes on you, so, like, like, blames it on you? No, I mean... Uh, 
maybe yeah to force you to do something that yeah yeah something yeah yeah don't agree with it ah okay 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 so yeah. okay that so that makes sense so like let's say what was the did he give an example um let's try I'm gonna try and think of one okay so like let's say he impose or like when somebody imposes um imposes their I'm trying to think um like let's say somebody imposes their for example when they uh, suggest you uh, suggest that you go to a party where you would there are some people who don't want to meet and uh, you are forced to go or... so they impose the party on you like they impose yeah. going to the party yeah okay okay That's right. good good Allah all right good job Hamdi um, Hamdi um, good yeah okay so when somebody imposes something on you so like they impose going to the party but you don't want to go to the party or let's say they impose um, going out to eat but you don't want to spend money so they impose you know spending money on you um, definition of impose to put um, to obtrude or thrust oneself one's company etc upon others to pass or palm off fraudulently fraudulently is it was uh, the second situation in the video? Uh, I, I don't know. I couldn't see the video because my audio isn't working. To lay on or set is something to be born, endured, obeyed, fulfilled, paid. Um, okay. So to impose one's personal preference on others. So like to put it on as if by authority. So like to impose going to the party is like they're saying like you have to go to the party. They're like trying to take authority. Good. Okay. Good job, guys. Um, any others that you picked up on? Uh, when he said at the beginning of his uh, video that when you are successful, uh, some people just uh, fix on you. Yes. So like a lot of times I forgot what the quote was. I read the quote like it's easier it's like easier to pick on people than to reach their level. So something something along those lines. So like it's easier to to pick on them to uh say like oh you're only successful because you did this. You're only successful because of this. But um it's easier to do that than to, than to actually like become as successful as they are. Good. Good, Allah. Perfect. Um, I think I get one. Okay. Uh, when somebody uh, ask, uh, asks you to use uh, personal stuff, like uh, uh, nail clickers or something like that. Oh, okay, when people ask you to use your personal stuff, so like, hey, can I lay on your bed? Or hey, can I use your pillow? Hey, can I use your blanket? Like, those are all personal things. Or like, hey, use can I... Brush. Yeah. yeah, can I use your brush? Can I use your toothbrush? Yeah. Yeah. Things like that. Okay, good, Hamdi. Good, that's a good pet peeve. Um, any others? Um, Are we I don't still talking about the video? Yes. Because there were only four there. There were only four there. Okay, so yeah. Allah mentioned one. Hamdi, I think you mentioned Impose and the personal stuff. And then Mika, you mentioned the one about the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Okay, so that's all. That's all it. Okay, good. So we got them all. That's really good. Okay, um, so we've got five more minutes left. Um, let's We're see. We're gonna if we... sing a happy birthday to you. You yes. wanna sing happy birthday? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. As long as you guys all know. Do you guys all know the happy birthday song? The same song? Yeah. Happy birthday. 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 Thank you guys. Wow, that was really nice. Make a wish and blow your camp. Okay, hold on. <sighs> <laughs> Yay! I'm 19 years old. 
Awesome. Th thank you. Thank you, guys. That was really nice. Welcome. Yeah. You guys. Thank you. You guys are the first ones to sing me happy birthday today, and hopefully the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Twelve. <laughs> no, I'm nineteen. Nineteen. Yep. Uh, almost, almost into the twenties. Yeah, you're almost there, Joe. I'm almost there. <laughs> you're going to make it to the twenties. <laughs> <laughs> yep, good. Okay, well, thank you guys. This is really nice. So, we have five more minutes left. Um, we can sing again? No, no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, think, I think one song was good. <laughs> thank you, Jay, though. Thank you. Um, I think Layla just sent me a video of Justin Bieber singing Happy Birthday. <laughs> thank you, Layla. Um, okay, so we have four minutes left now. Um, let's see. What do you, do you guys want to talk about? More pet peeves? Um, do you guys have any? Do you guys have any questions related to English or just anything in general that I can answer? Um, no, I just want to say that uh, uh, I have been teaching for a while, uh, and uh, I'm so impressed how a young man like you you are. Uh, just finish your 18 years and you are this successful teacher you you have uh, made people love you 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 have your classes uh, which is so interesting i mean how can you do that thank you so much ala i don't know i mean just i think like one of the most important things is like showing that you care um and just you know, being being nice and and supportive of everybody, because I mean, you guys are all learning English, and you're all, you, all of you guys are putting in effort, and you know, you guys care about learning English, obviously. Like that's why you're coming to these classes, and so that makes me want to care more. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like this is the reason that I'm doing this is because this is what I want to do after I graduate from the university. I I really like to teach because. When I was in high school, I had teachers that cared so much, and so they just kind of inspired me to to teach too. Because um, you know, I'm passionate about languages, and and I think learning languages is awesome. Um, you know, you guys are all learning English. I'm learning Portuguese, um, and I'm I've also been learning Spanish. So I really enjoy languages, and so yeah, I'm I'm just passionate about it. <laughs> Good. Th thank you for that, Allah. Um, I mean, any any other questions? Uh, anything else? How are you else? going to celebrate your birthday? How am I going to celebrate my birthday? Well, um, <laughs> yeah. actually, yesterday. So, so my girlfriend, she doesn't live in the same city as me, and she said she was going to come down today, like after I was done with my classes, because I have two classes today. Okay. And um, what what was that? Uh, anything, nothing. Okay, okay. Um, and she said she was gonna come down today, and so I said okay. And so yesterday, she randomly ran into my room and like was like surprise. And so uh, yesterday, Aww. I got to hang out with her, and um, then today she's gonna hang out while I'm at my classes, and then. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, I'll probably go out to dinner, um, hang out, maybe go look at the stars, uh, Aww, go eat some cake. Mean. Yeah. Aww, I don't know, but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll probably do that with her. So yeah. Aww. I yeah. have a boyfriend now, Joe, just because of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I mean, maybe you'll meet one who's learning English. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good way to to keep learning a language. Either to find, like my teacher told me, you know, if you want to learn a language, find somebody who speaks that language, like a native speaker, and then you you know you're forced to learn it because you're motivated to like impress them and stuff like that. You know, you could always do that. <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay. All right. Well, we have one minute left, so um, if you guys have any uh, suggestions for future classes, like anything else you'd like to learn about, you'd like me to teach about, you can contact me through my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Joe Verbling. Um, oh, 
bug. What happened? He crashed, I think. Oh. I think that quest is over. It's over, I think, yes. So I'm quitting. Goodbye to everyone. Bye.